Welcome back to the channel everybody. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Just want to show you guys a couple of these snakes with enhancing genes. I'm not a pro on anything by any means, but I've done a little bit of uh, looking around and hopefully you guys uh, enjoy what you guys see here. So I don't have too many enhancing genes in these ball pythons, but this male right here is the vanilla spot nose clown. And uh, from what I have been able to look up, the vanilla is a great gene to have. It enhances the colors, it'll enhance the patterns, and as it gets into adulthood, it should stay that way. A lot of these ball pythons, as we know, look phenomenal as a babies, and then after the first year or two years, they really dull out and the colors just kind of get muddied out and wash away, unfortunately. So anytime you can put an enhancing gene in them, you're setting yourself up for a beautiful snake uh, or a more beautiful snake in the future. So this male right here is a vanilla spot nose clown. Phenomenal looking animal. I love the patterns. I love the dark lines and really nice uh, pattern on the head for the spot nose. So the vanilla is a new gene to me. Actually, they're all fairly new to me because I've not been doing this for very long. But the vanilla is a little bit more interesting to me than the fire because both of those genes brighten the snake. They make the snake a little bit brighter as babies. If it's compared to just a regular spot nose clown, you could definitely tell that this one is brighter, has more blushings up the sides, has uh, just the coloration just is a little bit better. The head is a little bit brighter. But the one really cool thing about the vanilla is that there's a super form, the super vanilla, and it looks phenomenal. It looks way better than this one. It has some really cool patterns and wonkiness going on to it. Still holds the very, very bright colors. And it doesn't make your snake all white, which is what the fire does. So we're going to put him back. We're going to look at a couple fires. And then I do have some year-old snakes so we can look at them and we can see how they look and how they're not totally faded out. So this is a 2022, uh, the spot nose was 2022 as well. This is an orange dream, yellow belly, fire pied. And obviously the orange dream and the enchi does add color to it, but I do have a male that's a year old and faded out pretty hard. <laughs> so still looks really, really nice, but it had fire in it. It would look a thousand times better. So one of the reasons why I got some stuff with the fire genes is trying to mix them in with the babies. That way people can uh, have some good stuff or I can keep them and have more good stuff that have the enhancers in them. So you can tell at the top of the head, it's brighter than what it normally would be. The colorations are very bright. So from what my understanding is, the fire pides are normally pretty much a very, very high white snake. And then when you add Enchi into that, it brings back the patterns. It brings back some of these decolorations, but it kind of uh, distorts the black pattern on them. So my understanding is anytime you add Enchi into a pied, you're bringing back the patterns into the snake. So you can have a medium white to a lowish white instead of having the all high white snakes, which is not a bad thing. I do like all combinations of pieds, but this girl should do very well as she gets older. And of course, I'll keep everybody up to date of what they look like. So here's another fire that's added into clown, if anybody is, is wondering as a baby. Now these will fade a little bit, but they're not gonna fade out completely like most of them. So this is a fire orange dream clown Really cool pattern on the head, and this girl is super active for a ball python. Let's see if we can get some of the, let's see if we can just see some of the patterns on her. A little bit, kind of, and then you can see up the sides from the white to the orange. Now again, they're babies, so they will look a thousand times better as adults, but just some of this fire stuff just really brings out the colorations in a lot of these snakes. All right, gonna bring this girl out, 2021. She's a inchy, yellow belly, fire pied. You can see the top of her head, uh, the, the markings and how light it is. You can see the color on her is still very, very bright. A lot of nice patterns on her from the inchy. 
and then I really think that the fire is bringing out these yellows, dulling out the blacks. And this girl is always, always wild. So it's a big girl for 2021. She is a very good eater. But I want to show you guys her. So if you guys get some nice pies with fire, I don't think she's going to dull out too much. Normally they dull out pretty well in the first year to two years. And then they uh, it's basically going to be their colors from there on out. So this girl looks phenomenal. Very glad to have her. And she's more active than some of my boas, which is kind of crazy. But I'm gonna put her back and I'll see you guys another one. So this is probably one of my favorite clowns. This is the Superfly. And it is the Super Pastel with fire, and obviously clown. So one of the things that uh, a lot of people do notice is that if you put pastel in a stuff, it can muddy out the snake. It can wash out a lot of stuff that you added into, but apparently when you put two copies of pastel together with fire, you get a very gorgeous yellow snake with really nice markings down the body and some very nice whites up the sides. And this girl, all these snakes are super active today, which is nice. So uh, again, I don't think this snake would look, so if you just get a, um, I don't have a super pastel, so I can't really show you guys what that looks like. But I do have a regular pastel female, which I'm not saying she's ugly by any means. She still looks really, really nice, but there's really no color on her anymore. She was super bright as a baby, like normal, but she still looks good. But I don't know. Like I said, I'm fairly, uh, fairly new at this. So big difference between a pastel clown when you add two copies of pastel with the fire, it just is a totally different look on them. And this girl is super bright and she's just gonna get brighter and uh, even better probably as an adult. So probably my favorite snake, just from the colors, the patterns and everything to it, just looks phenomenal. So we'll put her, well we can hang on to her for just a little bit. So we have another year old snake. This is a Enchi fire uh, clown. This girl is very bright, a lot of nice colors in her. And I don't think this girl would, I think this girl would have faded out and muddied out by now if it did not have the fire in her. But look at the colors on her. You can still see a lot of the whites up into the, the yellows. Even the band is very bright on her, the stripe down the back. And the super fly clown is trying to get away. But even the head marking on her is still super bright. Still some, uh, that lightness right in the center. I, th I really think that is an indication of fire. I could be totally wrong. But it seems like a lot of these fire snakes have the indication or that uh, the marking on the head where it's a lot lighter than what they are without, um, without it. Who knew holding two ball pythons <laughs> would be a little crazy? Normally it's like this with the bows or the anacondas, but wow, I've never had bows act like this. But that's good, super active, and uh, they're doing well. So that is it on the fire in the vanilla. So if you do put fire in fire, I know I've said this multiple times, but the two fire, the two copies of the fire, I'm just gonna put her back. The two copies of the fire do make white snakes. And like I said, when you put them together with clown, you won't know it's a clown unless you trust the breeder. But, you know, you could have whatever genes that you paired them to hidden in that snake, which some people do like. You do like the, the white. And then if you paired something else, you could, you know, it's totally random on what you would get. And I think a lot of people like that as a project, uh, just something fun to do. And just to see what craziness was hidden in, in, the, uh, in the white snake. But... This girl's getting big, 2021, crushing small rats, no problem. And I really think that's the only ones that I have with the enhancers. So as you can see right here, um, this is an orange dream, inchy leopard. So pretty dull. This dude needs fire and it would make those oranges pop bring out the orange dream a lot bring out the colorations a ton 
gorgeous snake though. I mean, this snake is beautiful. Depending on the lighting that you that you get on him, and I think sometimes his colors kind of flare up or, or dull out a little bit depending on what's going on, but still a gorgeous snake. It's a male, 2021, and should be ready to go here very, very soon. But you can see at the top of his head how, well, maybe not, but at the very top, it's dark. So I think if I had a fire, that'd be, a, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just seeing stuff, but it just seems like all the snakes with a fire at the top of the head, it's just lighter and just a little bit brighter. So again, don't get fooled by um, how the brightness of the baby snakes, they do doll outs, but there is absolutely nothing wrong with the look on this snake. So very happy with the way he has turned out and excited to see what the future is with all these animals. But since it's a male, um, I'm going to have to put her with fire or him with a fire female to get some pretty cool stuff. So we'll see what happens. But that is it. So I want to show you guys just a couple of these snakes on how they do with the enhancers. Um, who knows, I might get something with vanilla, a female with vanilla to try to hit a super vanilla, which would be awesome to do. And uh, so stick around for future plans. See you guys.